Today, I'll show you guys how to make trap. Go ahead and start by setting the BPM anywhere from 130 to 160. For the intro, you can go with pretty much any style. You can go for a more modern pop style, melodic, or even dark and eerie. For this tutorial, I'll be going with a darker kind of sound. Test. Go ahead and create a trap beat. For the kick, I prefer to use a shorter, thumpier kick. As for snares, you can go with a harder snare or simple trap snares. And an important element is the 808. Try to keep it simple by keeping a simple rhythm and a simple bass line. Something else you may want to consider is adding slide to your 808. Doing this can make your track sound a little bit more interesting. Go ahead and add in some brass shots. Although not necessary, I think it's pretty iconic to trap. When you add in the brass shots, I would typically aim for the end of a phrase or at the beginning. For the bass, sounds such as dubstep wubs, wonky rhythm basses, noise, those hard sounds work pretty well for this genre. I highly suggest you experiment with different sounds and find something you like. Here are some sounds you may want to use. Real quick, I just want to take the time to thank k 3 Mare for these samples. He was the one who created them, and he was kind enough to let me use these samples in this video. So, thank you very much, k 3 Mare. And if you guys want, the sounds will be in the description for free. And if you guys ever get the chance, please go check him out. He definitely deserves it. With all that said, back to the video. The baseline will be categorized into bars of 8. The bars of 8 will consist of a call and response. The first four bars will provide the call, and the next set of four bars will lead with the response. Note that this is not the only way to do the call and response. You can do the call and response in different ways. If you want a more in-depth guide to the call and response, I recommend checking out the video by Barely Alive on the call and response. For the build up, I basically have everything from the intro and I added these horns. Something you may want to do is low pass the basses during the build up. This will kind of give a hint to the drop. And of course we have down filters, impacts, and risers. Oh, and add this. As the build-up progresses, I have all of the instruments repeating itself, making it seem like it's going faster. And then throw in some drums and you're done.
what's up everyone thank you for making it to the end of the video seriously appreciate it if you guys want the samples in this video the link will be in the description and it's all thanks to k3 mayor so if you guys ever get the chance please go check him out and uh yeah that's about it so thank you very much for watching and have a good one